At the end of every show, we ask you to let us know if you've seen or done anything incredible. Well, the mail has been pouring in. We received this letter from North Judson, Indiana. My name is Mike Sarkozy, Jr., and I have a very incredible dad. There, there's a lot of people that'll come up and hear about it and ask me if it's so, I tell them, but they still won't believe it. And about the only way they can believe it is if they see it. And about the only way they can see I can show it to them is to go through the procedure and let them see it, and then what they see is what they believe. Mike Jr. continues, I've seen my dad do his little thing for years. Now this is it. He passes his bare hand through melted metal. He does this just for the fun of it, and I know he would enjoy doing it for your show. A minute. Oh. Ah, We're in Mike better. Charcozzi's foundry in Knox, Indiana. Mike is 62 and has worked in a foundry for over 40 years. In that time, he's learned a lot about handling molten metal and has gained a rare knowledge of its secrets and its dangers. All right, now I'm gonna flash it to see if it's hot enough and then we'll check it with the probe. All right, looks good enough. Now let me check it with your pyrometer to see if the temperature's up there. Uh, she's about 1,400. The younger men at the foundry have an enormous respect for Mike Charcozzi's knowledge and experience. He can do things with red-hot molten metal, seemingly magical things, that few men would ever dare try. Now, don't raise up yet. Okay, you, you get ready with your handle. Where's the safety pin? Okay. The pot contains molten aluminum. Its temperature is 1,600 degrees Fahrenheit. It'll instantly set a stick on fire. But what about Mike's finger? Watch. Let's see that in slow motion. Mike puts his finger right through it. Fearless Mike Charcozzi will even put his entire hand directly through the super hot liquid metal. Watch. Remember, the temperature of the metal is 1600 degrees. Mike's hand is hot, but not injured. Oh, give me your cigarette. I'm dying for a smoke. There's one final touch to the performance. Lighting a cigarette with the spilled molten metal. Amazingly, Mike's hand has not suffered in the slightest. Thank you, Mike. That was incredible. And here's the man who wrote us, Mike Sharkozy Jr., and here's the man he wrote about, his dad, Mike Sharkozy Sr. Thank you, Mr. Sharkozy, how long have you been doing this? Oh, about 46 years, ever since I was 16 years old. At 16, you tried this? Right, I started off in a foundry as an apprentice, and I seen my supervisor do this. And I figured if he can do it, I'll try it, so. When he wasn't around, I tried it. I got more durable. I kept doing it more often, and he caught me. What'd he do? Fired me. <laughs> <laughs> What's the secret? There is no secret, but like with me, I've done it so long, I know my metal. The metal has to be perfectly pure. I mean, there can't be no impurities in it. If there are impurities in the molten metal, what would happen to your hand? Well, all right, that impurity in that metal if I don't clean it. Mm -hmm. And when I run my hand through it, it'll stick just like tar or honey. And, and burn, burn it. And it'll and burn right. the flesh off. Oof. Mike and Mike, thank you very much for being with us. It was a pleasure.